men with self-control are walking away from beautiful women. It is very hard to communicate facts without your interpretation of them or how people feel. I'm saying men will walk away. And men will walk away for two reasons. Number one reason, the quality of wives is too low. The women are too overweight. Not all, not all. The women are too overweight. The women are too slutty. And the women, I mean, there's just not enough quality wives. You know, Aaron Clary broke down the numbers that Michael Knowles, he was kind of disputing them in our debate. But Aaron Clary did a whole video you can look up on his channel from the Book of Numbers going through how they got the 5% of women are marriageable stat. Men are encouraged to follow their own paths by women's selfishness. The idea that women are naturally valuable and men are compelled by nature to create their own value was long accepted by the majority of people. Unlike modern women who look for the best men without offering anything worthwhile to the relationship, men who go their way accept the injustice of life. The majority of guys work hard to improve themselves and provide value, and guess what? If they are in a relationship and have had a tough day at work, they do not think of abusing their spouse. Men who are devoted to a relationship work hard to provide for their families and respect women and children. You know what's crazy? I got called pretty at the bar on Saturday. It is Thursday, so it's almost been a week and I'm still thinking about it. That's how easy it is, guys. If you think one week is a lot, try being a man because they remember every single compliment they've ever received. Like they could have been complimented on a shirt from like 10 years ago and they still have that shirt. It's still their favorite shirt, trust me. Truth be told, all men want is peace. A man needs to be in a position of leadership, but the boss babe narrative is being advanced in today's world to convince women that they don't need men and to even denigrate them as filth. Stop lying to yourself that you're advertising. Okay? You're advertising. And, and I've said, I've written well, See, at least the old school feminists understood that. If you are putting all your stuff out there for everyone to see, of course you're gonna get attention. Of course you're gonna get men to be aroused by it. If you are literally showing everything, your butt and your tits, what do you expect is going to be the outcome of that? And if you were really comfortable and you were doing it for yourself, you would be wearing those outfits at home in the comfort of your own home, but you don't do that. You post it on Instagram, you post it on TikTok, and you go out to the clubs looking like that. So let's call it for what it is, y'all, okay? You wanna put out your thirst traps, and that's perfectly fine, but own it. Own it. But stop. Be honest for a moment. Not all men and women are good people, and I'm not claiming that every woman is materialistic 304. I base my decisions on facts. I want you guys to recognize the trends and follow them. Of all, being a man is not simple, especially in today's society. Due to unpleasant dating experiences, unfounded accusations, or simply because women don't provide anything to the relationship besides intimacy, many men have already welcomed Megta. It's normal to think about going your own way for a bit, if not permanently, if you're a man, and all the women you wind up with are entitled and annoying. Women our age are more likely to be in relationships than men, which makes you think, who is everybody dating at the end of the day? If the women aren't dating the men, then... What crosses my mind is I think there's perhaps two explanations. One, women in that age group are dating older men, 30 to 40. But I think the bigger thing is, is that women are, maybe think they're in a relationship or are in a relationship, and they're sharing higher quality guys. So... And there's this concept called hypergamy. Women are all chasing after the top tier of men. So a lot of women are happier sharing a top tier guy than settling for a guy that's actually on their level. They seek good men while they case Chad and Tyrone. Some women continue to ask where the good men are despite all the evidence urging males to avoid the dating scene. The good men are not in outer space or on a barren island. You were unaware of them even though they were and are in front of you. I firmly believe that women should learn how to appreciate being alone rather than hopping from man to man and feeling frustrated that they can't find a partner, just as many men are learning to do. This is why men going their way as a collective movement is so powerful. A good dose of isolation and reflection would be beneficial. Instead of focusing on themselves to improve what they have to offer, they would rather fantasize about the qualities they want in a partner. Although these women frequently voice their complaints, do they make every effort to improve themselves? Are women happier than men or are men happier than women? 
Let's get into it. I got some science for you today. Studies show that men are actually happier than women. Women constantly score higher in neuroticism in psychological studies. What is neuroticism? Neuroticism is a trait that tends to experience negative emotions like anger, anxiety, consciousness, irritability, emotional instability, and depression. Why is this so? Differences in brain chemistry and hormone fluctuations. Women are more prone to stress and ruminate. Men tend to engage in active problems on behaviors when they experience stress. And because of their coping mechanism, they are not experiencing as much negative emotions. Throughout history, the genes of women who are more effective in influencing men have been passed on to the next generations. They hate MGTOW because it goes against what they believe, and they are furious with us since we took what they said literally rather than using it as a test to put them in their appropriate place. Would you rather be married and miserable or single and lonely? Single and lonely as long as I have my money. If you not my thought process i cannot have you around me because you're gonna fuck up my life can you be lonely and not, and not miserable? miserable you can be lonely and have a blast nine times out of ten when somebody tells you they're lonely are they happy no are they happy no. i disagree are they happy i've been lonely I disagree. and happy you can be lonely and happy you cannot be miserable and happy. happy it doesn't make sense when i'm feeling lonely it's easier to, for me to be feel loved if i go around people i love when i'm miserable i could be around you and i'm still still miserable, miserable. Men today can be divided into two categories. The first group is the weak men who indulge the whims of women. The second category consists of blue pills, who want to please women in order to have close relationships with them and discover genuine love. They respect the wishes of women. Then there are the men who follow their own path and take seriously women's assertions that they don't require men. If this is the case, they contend, then enjoying intimacy and taking all of the risks are no longer adequate justifications for a man to stay in a relationship. Men used to die in conflict with less pain and suffering, at least in the past. Nowadays, a man is in a much worse predicament than a man who perishes in battle if he gets divorced and loses his home, kids, wife, sense of purpose, respect, and self-esteem. Women merely want us to fall for the trap and engage in a rigged game of love is our battlefield with them. Women gain power by portraying weakness because it motivates males to step up, get involved, and take care of them. All the sexual power that women have when they're young falls off a cliff in extraordinary rapidity. Now, here's the thing though, is that when, men, when we're young and we have less sexual market value than women, supply and demand, hormones and receptivity, we can, if we, we can screw up for a while, and I'm sure everyone has, I know I have, but then you can recover, right? So, you know, I went to theater school. <laughs> I got a history degree because I'm all about the earning, right? But then I was like, wake up, dude. And I went and started a software company. So you can shake it off and you can turn things around. If a woman takes full advantage of that sexual magnetism of youth and, you know, hoingo boingos around the community, then by the time she hits her late 30s, it's too late. And then you get like a half century of regret. And one of my biggest tweets was me just saying, women, your eggs die at 40, you live to 80. What are you going to do for 40 years? A man doesn't mind being single because his life won't change. Either way, single or married, a man is expected to have a job and provide for himself and his family. Being single just makes that job easier and gives men more time to invest in hobbies or just bettering themselves in general. A woman, however, traditionally depends on a man for almost everything and is not happy being childless and having to work her whole life and support herself. Women biologically want to be mothers and want to be at home while the man provides. And a woman hits the wall, those days for her are gone and she will be unhappy while a single man of the same age will be living his best life. That's the harsh fact women have to face. The key for a man is self-control. For a man, your body sometimes speaks against you. It will crave, you know, pleasure all the time. Your key to successful mental health is complete and utter self-control. Control what you consume. You don't watch everything. You don't go into every de a desire. You control who you put yourself into. Now, when a man practices self-control, he becomes such an unshakable being because no, none of his friends can make him drink alcohol if he doesn't want it. No woman can make him spend money on her if she, he doesn't want to. He becomes I indispensable as a man. So self-control, I really believe, is the root of a man's self-esteem.
Men are realizing they don't need to put women on pedestals. It's not enough to just work out and put on more makeup, particularly if they do it after running into the wall. Women only need to keep their beauty at the age of 18, whilst guys are literally nobodies. Men are beginning to realize the truth and are no longer ready to treat women like idols. Women shouldn't be exalted since they're just like everyone else, and they also make mistakes just like everyone else. For instance, thinking that making a guy feel good in bed will keep him around. She, therefore, attempts to contain Chad when he shows there in the expectation that he will turn out to be the man she has always wanted. On the other side, Chad succeeds in getting what he wants, including some rapid action and raising her death toll. Contrary to several of the great individuals she met in her 20s, Chad does not desire commitment. Now that she's been run through by several men, the good gentlemen don't want to enter and tidy up the mess. What matters is her emotional baggage, not how she glides on top of a person. It is not the duty of a guy to serve as a lifetime therapist for a woman who's been making horrible choices since entering adulthood. I've said this many times before and I'll say it again. When you are against nature, you derail your future. That's what's happening with modern women. Until they realize this, there's nothing that can stop the decline of our culture. Gentlemen, we, as a society, have coddled and spoiled the living crap out of women to the point that they are impossible to please and so exotically self-centered that with rare exceptions, just being around them can be a real drain. So, how are modern women so utterly delusional about some things and just can't accept the truth? What if I told you that a modern woman is likely to break up with a man after a seemingly unimportant occurrence or for the most unimportant of reasons? Given how frequently this occurs now, it shouldn't be shocking, but let me give you guys an example, so you are able to understand better and understand this. Modern women lose when they look for perfection. At some point in their life, every man realizes where he fits in the hypergamy totem pole. He can change his lifestyle and perhaps move up some, but the important thing is, he needs to gauge his effort and the women he pursues based on this position. And most importantly, he must learn the signals of female nature to avoid the manipulation traps they all set. Some men are single because they have had enough of their kindness being mistaken for weakness instead of being valued for what it is. Learn stoicism, control your emotions, don't bury them, become strong, not weak, and accept that you may be alone. It's not that scary, you are stronger than you think. Being single gives men the freedom to pursue their interests, their careers, and improve themselves and all without the drama and trauma of a woman being involved. Men with a clear purpose are happy men and in peace. Thanks for watching Man Reacts. Show us your love and support by liking this video, sharing it with your friends, and subscribing to the channel. Support us and help us spread support for men around the world. Do comment and share your thoughts. We're always up for a healthy debate and discussion.